in the first session of uh, uh, today's program, we have uh, a topic which is quite interesting because it aims to uh, create local content, something that doesn't exist on uh, any other Wikipedia. So it's uh, generating uh, local content. And we have Tony as uh, speaker of it. Tony, I think you can start. Can you hear me? Hmm. I see I that have a slight problem. Yeah. Tony's yes, Tony's uh, window has crashed. Uh, perhaps he has uh, some problems with the internet connection. Let's give him a few moments to come back. We're not we're not that over with time. Uh, Tony has just told me that uh, he has problems with his uh, PC, so he is restarting it and he'll rejoin in a couple of months.
story everyone. Technical problem. <laughs> it's uh, my old uh, laptop, so it's crashed. So basically, I have to restart it. Do you hear me now? Yes, we can. Okay. So I will share my screen. And we can start. So do you see my screen now? It's loading. It's loading. Okay. Give it a few seconds. I think now it, it's work. Now your face camera is on. But the what? screen is black. Yeah, your face camera is on, but the screen is black. Uh, we're still waiting for the screen to show up. Mm -hmm. <sighs> okay, maybe. Of course, it's, uh, it's on the on the Google Docs. Do you hear, do you, do you see now the screen? No, still, no, still not. Still not. <sighs> Maybe someone else uh, shares the screen uh, with your presentation and you just uh, ask that person to go to next uh, slide when you need it. Yeah, yeah Tony. Totally. Mm -hmm. yeah. Can you share the, the, the address for the slides uh, with someone? With me, with me can work. There, there is the PDF. You see it working? Uh, hmm. I can't. Slide? I can't. I can't see it. I mean, I. Uh, okay, hold on. I think I forgot the file. Uh, it's on on commands. I wasn't able to find it. No ah, it's 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 not working from this link um, that that you have provided. Weird. Yes. Sorry. Yeah, it's all right. Yeah, you see the screen from my. Uh... Yes, looks yeah. good. Okay, so, but uh, I think that Tony's uh, machine crashed again. Oh. While we have a pause, uh, I will give you a side note that we, for example, have a program that uh, uh, users who need a new laptop or some new hardware can apply for uh, scholarships to purchase uh, them. And uh, maybe you should uh, start uh, some similar program to 
provide uh, valuable users with needed equipment so they don't struggle like this, like Tony is struggling right now. We have a we have a program like this with Wikimedia Polska uh, where you uh, where you can apply for for equipment. Actually, a, a user has recently requested a laptop to edit, and and he was granted uh, this laptop. Tony has just told me that uh, he is still having the same problem, so he asked me if I can start the presentation, and then he can join and continue. Uh, okay, so. Uh, I know that I was not supposed to speak here, but uh, I've been uh, involved for a long time in this project, and I think uh, uh, I can uh, give my insights in order to uh, tell you what we're doing. Uh, next, next slide, please. Okay, uh, so the idea is to uh, conduct uh, research expeditions. Uh, called week expeditions. So this is not uh, a new idea. This is something that we have adapted from the uh, other C communities like uh, Wikimedia Poland, Wikimedia Ukraine, and Wikimedia Czech Republic. The idea is to visit places that are poorly uh, covered on the Wikimedia projects, both with uh, text and images. The idea is to uh, map all the uh, monuments and all uh, things that uh, deserve Wikipedia articles, use their uh, geotag and uh, upload the images to Wikimedia Commons. So in 2015, we started with uh, the Wiki Expeditions, which are the most general expeditionary projects. Uh, then we also uh, uh, started with the Velo Expeditions and Archeo Expeditions. The idea of the Velo Expedition is to uh, visit places uh, using bicycles. The archaeo expeditions uh, are aimed at uh, visiting uh, archaeological sites. And then from the next year, we also started with the geo expeditions, uh, which aim at uh, visiting uh, natural heritage and agro expeditions, uh, which are mostly uh, aimed at uh, agricultural plants. Uh, the link between uh, the expeditions with the other projects uh, has mostly been done uh, through our editing challenges in which we invite uh, people from the community to use the content that we create uh, during the expeditionary projects and then uh, write articles on uh, Wikipedia. So here we have editing contests, editing days and editing weekends. Editing contests are traditional writing contests in which uh, we uh, uh, predefine a topic uh, on which uh, people should write articles. Uh, then we have uh, editing days as uh, 24 hours, uh, 24 hour uh, editing activities in which uh, people are invited to write content on a topic. And the editing weekends are uh, something similar, but uh, the editing period extends to uh, two days and it's uh, done for, uh, during the weekend. Uh, another related project to our wiki expeditions uh, are the photo hunts. This is a micro grant program in which uh, we uh, grant funds to photographers to visit uh, uh, places from which we don't have articles, uh, from which we don't have uh, images, uh, but we do have articles in order to upload them and uh, also uh, illustrate uh, those articles. Uh, next slide, please. So uh, how do we plan the big expeditions? So this is the most important thing from a practical viewpoint. Next slide, please. So at the beginning, uh, we just have an idea. We know uh, what is the area that we want to visit, and we have to prepare all the resources that we need to, to do it. Next slide, please. So from the idea, we usually meet and discuss all the possibilities and all the logistics that we need to uh, conduct the WIG expedition. Next slide, please. After the meeting, we start with uh, coupling all resources and preparing for the expedition. Next slide, please. Uh, we also propose a budget that we need to, uh, uh, to spend uh, for an expedition. 
this usually covers uh, expenses such as uh, accommodation, uh, 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 transport, uh, food, and uh, some other small things that we need uh, for an expedition. Next slide, please. And after we uh, got, uh, after we get the approval for our grant, then we know that we can start with the expedition. So we know that uh, the funds that we requested are approved. We know what we're going to spend that funds uh, for, and uh, we can simply go and uh, start with the expeditions. Next slide, please. So uh, after uh, getting our first grant approved in 2014, uh, it took us six months to conduct the first expedition. So it was uh, done on the 10th of April, 2015. Uh, the reason why we waited for six months uh, is uh, clear. We didn't want to uh, start with expeditions uh, during late autumn and uh, winter because of uh, uh, the short uh, daylight, uh, the problem with uh, the terrain in some places, uh, the cold weather, the probability that uh, we may encounter snow and it's going to be more difficult. So we decided to start with expeditions uh, somewhere in the early spring and end uh, in early autumn. So end somewhere in October, November. Next slide, please. Okay, uh, after uh, conducting a couple of expeditions, uh, we were not uh, used to uh, report in the right way about uh, what we're doing during the expeditions. So we started the first year with uh, only a couple of villages uh, that we visited, only uh, a couple of uh, churches, schools, uh, natural monuments, and uh, other monuments that uh, we uh, found in the places that we visited. But after uh, a couple of years, uh, we found uh, a proper model that uh, should work. So uh, when we visit a village, we aim to find everything that is uh, uh, important uh, in that village, to map all the monuments that uh, are there, because uh, it would be a waste of time to uh, go back to that village if we have something that we haven't visited in the past. So in the so in this uh, kind of a setup, uh, we found that uh, it's a bit uh, easier to spend more time uh, on one region than to just uh, uh, show up in uh, one place and another place and just count the number of villages, the villages that we have uh, covered with the project. Uh, another uh, thing that we also uh, was problematic in the first year was uh, how to uh, organize the expeditions. So uh, first we started uh, by tra traveling uh, uh, by train, but it was not sustainable in the long run. Uh, before we contacted the person, uh, it's a friend of uh, uh, some of our members who decided to uh, lend us uh, his vehicle and also to become part of the expeditions and uh, do it uh, using his car. Next slide, please. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, so as I already mentioned, uh, changes are uh, regularly part of uh, our plans to organize expeditions. So what we did in the beginning is not the same what we're doing now. As I mentioned, uh, we had uh, a relatively poor and modest coverage at the beginning, but now we have uh, uh, got some experience and we know how to cover a village. So we, re we significant, significantly reduced uh, the amount of time that we need to uh, visit the place and to cover all the monuments there compared to what uh, we had to spend uh, five or six years ago. But still there are some slight changes that uh, can be made and uh, there, there is still room for improvement. Uh, for example, it's still not clear how to, uh, how to identify uh, the exact location of uh, one place. We're still relying on uh, uh, map applications like uh, Wikimedia, Google Maps, uh, uh, or uh, Google Earth to find uh, the places that we need. 
we are still not uh, that experienced with identifying uh, how a monument, how a church looks at uh, a satellite image. So there is still room for improvement. There is still room to collaborate with uh, institutions, with uh, other parties, with uh, locals in order to uh, be more prepared uh, before visiting uh, uh, certain places. Next slide, please. And of course, uh, we also uh, ready at any time to accept new ideas. Uh, for example, uh, the idea to conduct uh, velo expeditions, big expeditions uh, using bicycles, uh, was born because of a problem that we encountered, encountered with uh, the Wiki expeditions. Uh, it was impossible to visit some places uh, uh, by car. So that's why we decided to uh, start uh, using bicycles in order to uh, find and uh, explore areas that uh, are difficult to reach uh, uh, by other vehicles. And it's like this. So uh, another thing, uh, what happens when uh, we cover uh, an area or a region uh, in Macedonia in great detail? So what we are going to do next? Uh, this is a very interesting uh, question. Uh, first of all, we can archive that uh, region. If we have visited everything that is uh, important from that area, then we're not going to visit uh, uh, that uh, uh, region once again. But there are also some uh, cases, uh, ex especially the areas that uh, we visited uh, in the very beginning of the project and were not uh, uh, fully covered. Uh, that we visit again in order to fill the gaps that we left uh, during the first visit. For example, we, we visit uh, the same villages. We know that we have uh, photographed uh, uh, the main church and the main monuments that are located there. But we know that uh, there are some other things that we didn't think about uh, in the very beginning, in the early stages of the project. And now we come back to uh, fully cover them. Uh, next slide, please. And uh, do we have pictures from everything? Absolutely no. Uh, there is still uh, something that is called a uh, developing a process of development. We know that uh, all regions are growing. Uh, there are new objects that uh, appear. Uh, new buildings are being built. Uh, uh, many uh, places have uh, new churches, uh, new renovated schools and uh, some other monuments erected that uh, we know uh, we don't have pictures from. And we know that uh, one day we'll have to come back and uh, uh, cover them again. Next slide, please. Okay, now I'm finally here, so I can uh, take on. Uh, it's uh, for uh, this slide and uh, for this particular make at least, it's a uh, very important thing for expeditions. Because uh, um, myself, uh, I take uh, an hours uh, and even days, uh, in some cases, uh, preparation and uh, investigate, uh, make an investigation about uh, what uh, what uh, those villages, what those uh, regions that we were uh, we will visit uh, on that uh, uh, expeditions uh, uh, have. In 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 uh, in uh, it, uh, what is uh, what is there? Uh, what uh, uh, they can uh, uh, what, what they have? Uh, so it's basically uh, I make a list of everything like uh, 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 religious buildings. Uh, I, I make uh, uh, about the geographical objects. Uh, uh, um, so and not just for uh, uh, what. And they have, but also where it's located, because it's uh, most important when you are going somewhere and you are creating, you uh, uh, you you want to do uh, this uh, to 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 have in mind uh, where is those uh, objects. So I'm using Wikimapia, uh, and uh, thanks to, to some users, uh, those objects are already uh, placed with good uh, 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 with the geo, uh, geographical coordinates. So 
uh, when we're going on on the expedition, we know exactly where is the project. So we are not losing time asking or something like that. Um, that that's uh, the, that's also uh, researching, and uh, it's uh, very important to to know uh, where is uh, the, the object uh, before you go on a on a on a ride or before to go on an expedition. Uh, which is, you can you can change the uh, okay. So uh, basically, from our start, uh, we make uh, we. We start uh, to make uh, panoramic photographs, and this basically we we say that is very important. It's very well fitted in a uh, info boxes, uh, so no, definitely you should do it that. Uh, and you can change the the uh, our um, results from. 2015 until now, um, and it's like that. That uh, we visit more than 34 regions in our country. Uh, it's not that we're doing that uh, like uh, uh, just uh, uh, regions that are, uh, and these regions, 36 regions, are actually the most remote and uh, the uh, at least uh, least uh, uh, the regions with the least uh, uh, images on uh, Wikimedia Commons. Uh, so we uh, we uh, included only regions that are first uh, first we included regions that are uh, needed uh, to be uh, to be. Uh, to, to be visited, and then we visit uh, the better known <laughs> regions in the country. Uh, so far, we we have more than fifteen uh, different members in our expedition. But uh, here is uh, it's worth mentioning that uh, it's very uh, very uh, uh, important to have a core team because. Uh, core team, uh, it's, uh, that, uh, that you should have it, like, uh, two or more, maybe three persons that are almost, almost on a every expedition because they, they know, uh, they know, uh, uh how the expedition should be going and it's necessary to be, uh, to have those, uh, uh those, uh, these uh, core teams. Uh, uh, we have nearly 2,000 articles during the during this expedition, almost uh, above 11,000 uh, images uploaded. Uh, we are very proud that uh, almost uh, almost every image uh, uh, finds a place on the Wikipedia or Wikipedia uh, Wikimedia project. So basically, above 80 percent. Uh, we have usage of those uh, uh, images, and like I said, and uh, during yesterday with Mariana, uh, we visit almost forty percent or thirty-eight uh, percent to be exact of all villages in the country. Uh, now we can talk about editing challenges. So, and this is the great map. Uh, yeah, I forgot this that we I, I have included. Uh, you can uh, basically uh, you can see uh, from the map of Wikidata uh, location of the Macedonia. Uh, it's like basically uh, in the South Europe. Uh, you can see the dead, uh, the and the highlighted spot. Uh, it's uh, like uh, you can uh, notice uh, how it's our work uh, done uh, thanks solely to Wiki expeditions and to our local content. Uh, so. This is a great map showing that uh, you can change which account. Uh, uh, the editing challenges uh, we we use it also, not just uh, not just uh, wiki expeditions that he started and they finished uh, that, uh, and uh, we included now we included uh, in uh, uh, in the. Editing challenges, uh, like 
we set in the first uh, uh, page editing dates, editing uh, weekends, and editing content. Uh, so, how to start this editing challenge? And that is to find the materials, uh, possibly to find a scan book uh, that uh, you you can uh, upload it in common. But uh, also, um, our practice in uh, Macedonian Wikipedia is that we use scan book, but which has copyright, but we have in PDF, in the, but we cannot upload it on common because this has copyright, but we can provide on, on an email like to, to the another user. So it, basically you can uh, share that uh, material uh, uh, without, uh, without uh, uh, you have it on a uh, commons and to, to provide it, uh, uh, to provide it to other users to use, to use that material. Okay, right, check. Now you can change. Uh, it's basically, yeah, uh, it's very important to, to have a schedule because, um, uh, if you uh, have a schedule about editing days, weekends and concerts, you have a practice and you have a, a good practice. Uh, and I think something's happening with Tony again. Uh, get a help. Yeah, okay, so. I don't want to interrupt the session, but there is, I think I have to uh, join in again. Uh, so as Tony mentioned, uh, the idea is to make a schedule of all uh, editing challenges that we're going to hold in the upcoming period, including uh, editing days, weekends, and contests, as I described them at the beginning. Uh, using the materials that uh, we have uh, found in libraries, uh, uh, and Adam Glam institutions. Uh, uh, we are distributing uh, them to all interested participants in these uh, uh, editing challenges so that they can uh, start uh, extracting the relevant content and uh, adding it uh, to Wikipedia articles on the villages and monuments that we have uh, covered during our Greek expeditions. Uh, next slide, please. Uh, and uh, also the idea is to um, promote the places. So it's not just to write the content, to uh, take the images and uh, and leave it as it is on uh, Wikipedia. Uh, the idea is to also uh, promote uh, what we are doing uh, to all uh, other people outside uh, Wikimedia who might uh, get interested to join the project and also contribute to the uh, topics that we want to cover. Uh, this uh, has not uh, earned a lot of success in the uh, last couple of years, but uh, there are some instances of people who are interested in geography, in uh, cultural heritage and other things that uh, wanted to join us and uh, and start uh, contributing to the Wikimedia projects. Next slide, please. So uh, many people ask, uh, is it uh, a pet uh, work, uh, what we do? Uh, do we organize uh, pet contests uh, or not uh, about creating these articles? Uh, the question is, uh, the answer on this question is uh, in general, no. We're not pet, so we are doing everything on a voluntary basis. But in some cases, in some instances, we organize uh, writing contests in which we uh, award small prizes to the best contributors so that uh, we get uh, the maximum uh, number of articles uh, created or improved. So we have had uh, some writing contests in which uh, we have uh, more than 500 articles. And uh, this is something that uh, we're really proud of. Uh, you don't, uh, you don't uh, pay participants to edit, but you uh, 
reserve small prices, like for example, vouchers for uh, clouds, uh, uh, vouchers for uh, books or uh, technical equipment, so that people get motivated to participate, uh, write as many articles as they can, and uh, uh, at the same time uh, win some of the prizes and enrich uh, Wikipedia as much as we can. Next slide, please. Okay, so uh, what are the results that uh, we have achieved from our editing uh, challenges? So uh, in total, we have uh, a figure of uh, 3.5 thousand articles uh, created on archaeological uh, localities. These are archaeological sites that were mapped by Macedonian archaeologists and are located all over the country. Most of them, uh, in fact, uh, do not exist. But there are also some of them uh, which are clearly visible and are remnants of uh, ancient cities or larger uh, places that existed in the past. Uh, we also have uh, a total of 800 articles about villages in the geographical region of Macedonia. So it's not only in uh, the country of Macedonia, but also in uh, the adjacent regions that are now located in uh, the neighboring countries. We also have uh, over 500 articles about uh, famous Macedonians from uh, the unpublished uh, Macedonian Encyclopedia. Uh, this was a controversial uh, piece of work uh, because uh, there are uh, some controversies surrounding it uh, 12 years ago and the Macedonian Academy of Sciences and Arts uh, decided not to uh, publish it and leave it uh, in a digital a version that is uh, available on uh, uh, their website. And uh, we also had a project to uh, write uh, articles and uh, we exceeded uh, the number of uh, 100 articles about Macedonian songs. This is something that uh, started uh, at the beginning of this year. Uh, next slide, please. And uh, of course, uh, something about the materials. Uh, what we created as a result of all these activities are uh, some learning patterns that are available on uh, Wikidata. So I have uh, a learning pattern with uh, a detailed uh, guide guideline on how to conduct expeditions. We also have a learning pattern on our editing challenges, uh, whose goal is to uh, teach people how to fill the content gaps. And uh, the third thing is uh, that using the geocoding uh, images and Wikidata, we can create uh, very good maps of uh, uh, Macedonia with uh, different types of objects uh, that are uh, marked on, uh, that ma on those maps. Like for example, map of uh, villages, of churches, of schools, of uh, cultural monuments and uh, other things. Uh, next slide, please. So uh, this is the end of uh, the presentation. Uh, I see in the chat that uh, there have been some questions. So I think we have uh, a couple of minutes until the end of the session so that people ask the questions and we respond. Yeah, and there are some raised hands in the, in the uh in the participants list as well. Uh, so Kirill, are we go, going through the chat questions first or the questions from the uh, live participants? Mm, we can go to, with the chat first. Okay, so well, because Tony is still away, uh, you do the honors. Yeah, Tony uh, contact, uh, contacted me couple of times, but I couldn't uh, respond because I was presenting. Hello. And thank you for that. Okay, so we can uh, go with the first question. Um, hello, um, it's Manama here. Can you hear me? Yes, we can. Right. Uh, I tried to speak. Uh, I'm on a mobile connection, so it's crap. I tried to, to type. Um, my question is, uh, do you sometimes have group members who, tr who also 
join in for other reasons, uh, positive reasons. For example, uh, what you presented uh, reminds me of my rambling expeditions in Ireland or the US. Other people who are also dealing with geocaching, with uh, documenting local stories for other organizations, or uh, as I call it, hunting Pokemons. Um, Yeah, that's a good question. Uh, I mean, we have a group of people with uh, clearly defined uh, roles and responsibilities in uh, the expeditions. So we, our group uh, counts uh, four to five uh, members. One is uh, a driver, and uh, that's uh, his main responsibility uh, to bring us to the places that we want to visit. Uh, then we uh, have a person who... Uh, uh, whose uh, role is to uh, find uh, all places that we want to visit on the map, so to map uh, the most important things before we enter the village. Uh, we have a photographer and we also have a person who uh, promotes all the activities and uh, uploads uh, uh, images with posts on the social media during the expedition. This is uh, very important because we want to keep our audience uh, uh, informed about what we're doing at the moment. As for uh, geocaching and uh, other uh, things, uh, uh, I think that uh, we don't have a person who whose uh, job is to do it during the expeditions. And I don't think we have encountered any uh, serious problem with uh, uh, geotagging so far. Okay, I have a second question about source of funding, and this is the last question. In the chat, I uh, typed uh, for your information only that some days ago I attended a Wikimedia UK conference where they managed to get support from the National Lottery and other governmental institutions. Now, do you get support from, uh, say, the European Union, uh, say, or municipal uh, funds that because your aims are very universal, it's uh, gathering knowledge and uh, documenting it. Do you have additional sources of funding? Uh, thanks. This is a very good question. Uh, as Macedonia is not an EU member, uh, we are only allowed to use uh, some uh, uh, pre-accession uh, funds that the EU extends uh, to our country. Uh, with regards to the local uh, units, uh, we have extended uh, contacts with uh, a couple of them. Uh, they were ready to collaborate with us, but the problem is that uh, we couldn't get uh, any funding from them. So uh, all the expenses that uh, uh, we have are covered uh, using a uh, grant uh, funded by the WMF. Uh, even though uh, every year we have uh, plans to uh, get some funding from the government and uh, the local units. We've got about right, twelve minutes to the next session. Thank you very much, it's all for me. Thank you. We've Thank got you. about twelve minutes to the next session, so I think we can have a question or two still and uh, shorten the break. Uh, Victor. Microphone. Yeah, Victor, you're muted. Uh, we cannot hear you. Sorry, sorry. Hello. Uh, as far as I have one question and one suggestion. Uh, so as far as I understand from uh, the presentation, uh, you also involved uh, people uh, who didn't participate in Wiki Expedition to write a contact. Uh, uh, is I, uh, I understood uh, right or maybe... A mistake so and or how you uh, involve uh, these people to uh, write content to which you make some photo and put it into articles uh, yeah thank you victor that's an interesting question uh well in practice uh, we usually invite people to write the content and this is mostly for the archaeological uh, sites where people use the archaeological map uh, of uh, Macedonia to uh, create content on uh, all the sites uh, that were mapped in the country. Uh, 
And then after we re realized that uh, we have uh, a lot of articles uh, without uh, any images, we conduct uh, archaeo expeditions, which aim to, to, uh, to visit uh, the archaeological sites and uh, take images that we are going to use uh, to illustrate uh, the articles that uh, were created in the past. So this is how it uh, works uh, uh, mostly. Uh, as for the wiki expeditions, uh, only the core group of people uh, which uh, participates in the expedition is uh, uh, responsible for writing the articles. Okay, uh, thank you. And uh, only small suggestion, uh, I want you to just when you do a Rick expedition, uh, just to put uh, your pictures uh, uh, as you do it in uh, Macedonian, Macedonian uh, uh, chapter of Wikipedia. But uh, please uh, also do some gallery without description in the other languages, uh, which articles. Uh, already exist uh, about villages, for example, uh, about Macedonian villages in uh, other Wikipedia, for example, in Ukrainian or other languages. Uh, just not only one photo from Wikidata, but uh, also to... Uh, yeah. uh, thanks for the suggestion. Uh, uh, in fact, we provide uh, Macedonian English description uh, in the uh, Commons uh, description box. As for connecting to Wikidata, I think it's uh, possible but uh, we haven't uh, uh, integrated uh, our images from Wikimedia Commons uh, to the Wikidata admins. Uh, no, I just uh, put a, uh, just a simple gallery into other languages, just without, without any description, but just uh, you have okay. articles. Yeah, so now, now I understand. Yeah, I think it's possible, yeah. We're okay. going to look for articles on uh, the places that we visit uh, in Macedonia on other Wikipedias, and add the, the images that we have made. Yes, um, it's just a few seconds just to put in different uh, Wikipedia to have more, more images uh, than one image in Wikidata. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I think one, we have time for one more question, yeah. Yeah, Samat. Hi, thank you for your presentation. I I have a question about the the detail of the of the wiki expedition. So my idea is that if you travel to a village or a place where you, where where there is very little information on Wikipedia or Wikimedia Commons, uh, it would be very useful to to make a deeper um, documentation. So not only a picture of some some churches or very important buildings but also a contact with a local historian or a local cultural institution and get their information about the village uh, which is which most of this information is really not available on the internet or in books so mm -hmm. it's very useful to 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 use the opportunity that you are already there to to combine the, this effort with with the deeper information sh collecting and uh, and one more thing that that which which Manama already touched that that not only Wikipedia are interested in in the in these activities for example open street map activists who would like to make a map of the village or the surrounding area would be very interested to join and and other type of uh, uh, let's say activities could be combined so I I understand that we there is should be a compromise so it should be fast because otherwise the list will be never full uh, ended or but mm -hmm. but um, yeah so i would like to hear your opinion on these ideas uh, as for the first uh, part of your comment uh, we usually uh, talk to uh, locals as much as we can so in some places uh, you won't find uh, any inhabitants because uh, they're like ghost places for a uh, longer period. Uh, and uh, as for the local history, uh, there are many books available with uh, information on uh, the history, geography, and uh, culture of uh, the places that we visit. As for uh, 
the OpenStreetMaps project, uh, yeah, we plan to collaborate with uh, the OpenStreetMaps community in order to improve uh, uh, the maps that uh, they're working on, their databases with all the information that uh, we provide uh, during the expeditions. But the problem is that uh, the community, the Macedonian community on OpenStreetMaps is uh, very modest. There are only one or two uh, active people contributing uh, there. So it's uh, going to be a long way until we uh, make uh, this, all these efforts work, until we uh, motivate people to join OpenStreetMaps and uh, cover all the places that we have visited. One more very, very short question. Uh, in one expedition, which takes, I'm not sure how long, is it one day or a weekend or se several days? How many villages do you visit usually? Uh, for one expedition typically lasts for two days. So we go uh, uh, on Friday in the evening and leave uh, the region uh, on Sunday in the afternoon. Uh, depending on the region and uh, the terrain, uh, it may take uh, from 25 uh, to 35 villages per expedition. So around 15 to 17 daily. Yeah, it's productive. Okay, thank you. You're welcome.